Do you see yourself killing someone in your dream? If then there might be some special reasons for having such dreams. In this video, we will discuss about 10 spiritual reasons that are responsible for seeing yourself killing someone in your dream. Let's get started now. Few dreams feel as ominous as those featuring someone's death, especially when you wake up and realize that you were the one committing the murder in your dream. It's perfectly natural to feel anxiety after such a dream, but you should keep in mind that dreams aren't waking life, and acts of aggression by a dreamer don't really translate into acts of aggression in real life. 1. You're afraid of your safety and dreamed of a self-defense scenario. 2. There is abundant frustration in your life and your subconsciousness conjured up a killing dream as a way to release tension. 3. You've been encountering a lot of obstacles in your life recently that you want to remove from your path, and your subconsciousness manufactured a metaphorical removal in the form of a violent act. 4. You're experiencing a rather intense hatred toward a person or a situation, and that hatred has manifested in a violent dream even though you wouldn't do something like that in real life. 5. You have a past trauma in your life, such as bullying or molestation, and you haven't been through sufficient healing about it, so your mind is trying to compensate by killing the source of the trauma. 6. You feel a major lack of understanding from other people or you, and the inability to express yourself to them has led to a buildup of frustration. 7. There are people or forces in your life that pull you back and hamper your process of personal transformation, so your subconscious mind is tell you in a rather dull way that you need to remove such baggage from your life. 8. You're having a self-confidence crisis as of late, and you need that there are aspects of your inner self that aren't adequate enough so your mind is conjuring a dream about killing these aspects of yourself by representing them as other people. 9. You have been feeling your personal space somewhat violated as of late, and your mind has come up with a very primal way of expressing its frustration with the need to remove some people from your personal space. In all of these and other situations, the dream of you killing someone can feel like a gross overreaction due to a minor inconvenience or a manageable personal issue. And that is certainly one way to look at it. Why would my mind dream of something like that? In a great many cases, when we dream of someone else, be they a stranger or someone we know, the person we're dreaming about is actually a metaphorical representation of a feeling or aspect of ourselves our subconsciousness is trying to pinpoint. How did it happen in your dream? As with actual murders, a dream about killing someone can also differ based on how the incident happens. For example, a knife is a more personal weapon and hence at a more personal be with the person issue you're dealing with. A gun, on the other hand, especially a long-range gun, is much more impersonal and usually indicates that you don't feel as personal about the person or issue and just feel a need to get some problems out of your life. Similarly, if you dream that you are a serial killer, killing witness after witness of previous crimes, and even dealing with police officers in a GTA-style scenario, this also indicates a more impersonal issue such as straightforward general stress buildup. Should you talk with a professional? In general, we support the golden rule that everyone can always benefit from a visit to a good psychologist. Whether you've had a dream about killing someone or not, whether you've had negative feelings or you think that you're fine, there is no situation that can't be improved even further by a visit to a good professional. 